to many people, life is about finding something they want to pursue. That solace can be Burning Man, a beautiful place where people find their dreams together. My friend Teddy created the Dream Box, an installation where people can make and share dreams. Whether it be dancing in the desert oasis at sunrise, marrying your loved one in front of the ashes of the temple, or skydiving at dusk, Burning Man is a place where dreams are created. This film is about friendship, exploration, and the endless pursuit of our imaginations. This is a story about making our dreams realities on the fly. My dream is to dream forever and ever. So many bodies. So many beautiful, beautiful people. penetrating my soul and pushing through me and coming back out of me. It's hard to say exactly what I'm feeling right now. Just watching it unfold in front of my eyes. Tell me your story. I have a lifelong dream of living freely and comfortably in my body, of expressing myself through movement. My dream for life is that I wake up each day for another beautiful day, hanging out with my friends here at Burning Man. A man is not old until regret takes place in the dream. Pursuing your dreams is exactly what I believe in. Life is just more amazing when you believe things can happen and they actually do. Dreaming about entertaining people. The one thing all of us can all feel is music. We biked to Burning Man. It was a dream of ours. It was an experience, a blast, an inspiration. Things that you imagine would take years to achieve are done in seven days. I think one of the really great things about Burning Man is you get to tell your story in the way that you want without anybody else interfering with it. It's the perfect canvas. There's a very seldom find such a perfect canvas to create on. It doesn't intrude, it just allows. My dream is to save the world and try to preserve our environment. That's inspirational, makes you want to contribute, makes you want to be part of something. This is where the healing happens. This is where we break barriers and comfort zones and really come together to help create that would be my lifelong dream. What would the world be without dreamers? Where would our risk takers, our inventors and innovators be? How do we enjoy life without sharing our dreams? This is perfect. I cried last night because Paola, who created the dream box with me, she bank skied the dream box and drew a picture of her as a little girl holding a teddy bear. And I love her death. That was a really big moment last night during the man burn. It was just beautiful. How'd it go? Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing your dream and sending it to you. On my 30th birthday, I took a moment of silence at the time I was born. The first thing that popped in my head was the word respect. After that, all I could think about was thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was feeling very grateful for the love in my life and the people that I have around me. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Dream pulses in and out of our lives and it continues to do so in an infinite circle.
got married yesterday. He hopped into the tent and came back out with a little sushi ring. He got down on one knee and he proposed to me. It was the most special moment of my darn life. My best friend died two months ago. This book is filled with some of my favorite songs and some of my best friend's favorite songs. Walking around the embers and singing has kind of brought me to a place where I feel connected with her. For me, this jump is very special because my lover died on March 21st of this last year. This is my jump for him. And I was so looking forward to coming home and this is what I needed. What does it say? The world. Together we can create anything. All you need is a bit of imagination and a community to work with. The dream box is just the starting point. It's your job to share and help beyond. Wow, I just got to share my dream. How did that make you feel? Terrified and liberated and emotional and relieved. Whether it's seen by anyone or not. For me, I did that, and I have never before been brave enough to do that.